So Nintendo's stock value, the price of their stock, has risen 7% basically overnight. And this has caused Nintendo's share values to reach a nine-year high. To put it in perspective, they have not had a share value this high since 2008. Yes, 2008, which is right in the heart of the Wii and DS era. Now, it's not hitting the, the peaks in 2008, right? They had a, a share value peak of about $80 per share. Uh, this was more so on the downtrend from the Wii era, but considering that Nintendo's been on the uptick ever since the Switch released, it has uh, really led to some interesting insight into why they suddenly have an overnight 7% jump. And some thought, oh, maybe this is response to Sony, who might not have had the greatest showing at the Tokyo Game Show, because last night they had their press conference at Tokyo Game Show, and they didn't really have any uh, quote-unquote major announcements. I mean, there were some nice announcements, but nothing that was earth-shattering, uh, really going to move the needle in the gaming industry. But I don't actually think that's the case. In fact, uh, the Wall Street Journal did a piece breaking it down. And yes, it's behind a paywall. So chances are, unless you're subscribed to Wall Street Journal, you can't read it. But it sounds like the 7% jump is actually due to investors' uh, hope of Nintendo's success in China. Now, we know that Nintendo is now able to sell their products in China. So it's not like this is necessarily new news, but what happened is there was a little game announced in the, in the Nintendo Direct that uh, the news finally trickled to developers uh, called Arena of Valor. Seems like, you know, your standard MOBA game, not a huge deal. Uh, there's tons of MOBA games out there in the United States. League of Legends is kind of the king, and then there's a bunch of other MOBA games built around that. And... Arena of Valor turns out it's made by a company called Tencent. So let me just get into this report, okay? But before I, I dive further, because I don't want to get these details wrong, I'm reading this report off NintendoLife.com, who has access to the Wall Street Journal editorial. Here's what they say. When Arena of Valor was announced for the Switch in last week's Direct, we think it's fair to say that a number of, reading, uh, number of people reading these pages simply shrugged. A free-to-play MOBA that made its name on the mobile uh, market heading to the Switch as a beta this year. It arguably wasn't among the biggest announcements in the broadcast from a fan's perspective. However, in terms of share value, investors and uh, and a potential saw this is really weirdly worded. However, in terms of a share value, investors and a potential impact. Yeah, this is weird. Uh, investors saw a potential impact on Nintendo Nintendo's future business. It was comfortably the most significant announcement. We looked at Nintendo's share value today and saw it had climbed a whopping 7.06% to 40,950 yen. When the market closed in Tokyo, that is the highest it's been in nine years, which is a rad, rather extraordinary statistic. The share value has been trending high all year, but the image from the past month shows an idea of the spike itself. And I'll throw that image up. Uh, the reason Arena of Valor matters is it's published by Tencent, and Arena of Valor is actually the most popular game on smart devices in China, except there it's called Honor of Kings. According to some metrics and estimates, it was the top grossing game in China during the second quarter of this year. In the analysis on the Wall Street Journal, this is highlighted as a potential starting point that could see Nintendo and Tencent work together on the Chinese market. This could mean Nintendo publishing smart device games in China and perhaps releasing the Switch itself in the country, with the Wall Street Journal citing people familiar with the thinking of Nintendo and Tencent executives. Though Sony and Microsoft have taken their systems to China with limited success, the portable and tablet form of the Switch could favor it in the smart device-focused Chinese market. The announcement of Arena of Valor for Switch is also seen as a move by Tencent to boost its presence in the West. It's the possibility of Nintendo's smart device apps, like Super Mario Run and Fire Emblem Heroes in China, that has investors buzzing. However, Though it's a tough market to penetrate, the revenues that success can bring in China could be a huge boost to Nintendo. It's worth noting that Nintendo has released systems in China before with the IQ brand. These have included plug-and-play Nintendo 64 and various portable devices like DS and 3DS. They've all been limited devices with only a small number of games included. Blah, 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 blah. So Nintendo's looking to get the Switch out in China. And they're partnering with Tencent, which is awesome. 
Like, really good for them in China. Tencent's huge in China. It is a very interesting prospect that uh, for all of the success of the switch right this seven percent jump them reaching a nine-year high has really nothing to do with the success of the switch at all it has to do with nintendo's potential to penetrate the chinese market with both the switch and their own mobile games it, it's chinese market's huge right like china makes up a massive percentage of the world's population and because of the laws they've had in place for a long time, it has been really hard to release any sort of gaming platforms there. Now, the laws have relaxed a little bit, so now Nintendo has a chance to release you know, their, their self-branded Nintendo Switch. So I, it'll be interesting to see if that takes off. Uh, it might even help the fact that Nintendo Switch will have a version of you know, Honor of Kings, a.k.a. Arena of Valor, on the system itself. I'm assuming that would be available in China as well. I don't know why it's available on phones. Assume it would be available on Switch. That could help push sales. Plus, I don't know if they can get Super Mario Run, Fire Emblem Heroes, Pokemon Go, or uh, any of their other um, games they make money off of on the mobile side over on devices in China. It's sure to explode. Because it's not like... Despite the fact that Nintendo hasn't been able to really uh, release a lot of their consoles and games there in a traditional sense for a long, long, long time, maybe even ever, uh, a lot of people in China are still aware of who Mario is um, and all that stuff. So Mario is really a good start to really, you know, Super Mario Run to get their brand there. It's just really interesting that this jump, um, which usually happens when there's a major announcement, right? When, when you're talking about, uh, you know, things like there's a new system coming or a brand new massive mobile game coming another pokemon go like game is coming instead this is just well nintendo's trying to penetrate and they're working with tencent like that's it there's no uh there's no plan of action right nintendo doesn't have an and some people thought that maybe this seven percent jump was on the heels of the last video we did where the new uh, the new analytical projections out there have the Nintendo Switch selling 130 million units by 2022, which is just still crazy to me that that's even a thing. Um, but that's actually not why this percentage jumped overnight. It has nothing to do with the new predictions. It has to do with Nintendo's opportunity in China. And for Nintendo's sake, obviously, uh, they're a multi-billion dollar company. So uh, whether or not they're successful in China doesn't really matter to me personally. Um, obviously, if you are a Nintendo stock owner uh, or you bought into Nintendo stock when it was uh, you know, really dipping hard at the beginning of the Wii U era, I think that uh, you should be happy by the prospects of success in China. Because if they do have success in China, we could start seeing Wii-like levels of, uh, you know, Wii and DS, I should say, like levels of stock value. Um, there are some people that I saw in NeoGath that said they bought in at, for Nintendo around 20 bucks a few years back. And now, you know, it's up to $40. And if it hits that $80 high again, like that's definitely a sell, 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 maximize your profits, etc., uh, it's, it's a really interesting market. I personally don't own any Nintendo stock, so this doesn't matter much to me, but, uh, I understand that it matters to a lot of people. So, uh, yeah, there you go. I, I you know, it, it's good for Nintendo. I'm glad that Nintendo is doing well. Obviously I'll always be happy that Nintendo does well, but honestly, um, them advancing in a market that has no impact on us in the West doesn't really matter that much to me. Just, just throwing that out there. Anyways, Congrats, Nintendo, and uh, yeah, here's to your, you know, in, endearing and enduring and forever success. I am Nathaniel Ruffle Jans from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do, and if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.